Our next project we're going to go ahead with is with reference to this backing plate and also an ER32 collet adapter. Now what we have here um, is cast iron right backing plate. It actually has um, a 39mm bore with threading and the thread is um, four threads per inch. So we've got to, that fits on to right the small lathe that we have here and we've got to machine this to basically fit this. Alright so we've got the um, right spindle bore here and as you can see right the threading here so we've got to fit, fit the backing plate onto there and we're just going to tighten that in so it's just a firm fit. Now what we're going to do is now machine this and get it all square um, and make sure that the register is right correct for the fitting of the collet chuck. Right, so the first part I'm going to do is just um, do a skim across this outside surface until I got a true reference point. So that will give us some consistency with reference to measurements. just um, start to machine off the face here so what we're going to do is at the distance from the front here to this part of the right back plate is about three millimeter and we're going to come in about another four millimeter <laughs> So what we've done so far is um, right, machine the side here and made that true. We've machined the face, we've brought that down about four to five millimetre and we've machined the face here on the register and now what we're going to do is we've left a bit of a shoulder here on the register now we're going to start just slowly trimming that back until we get a proper fit. So as you can see here we've been slowly progressing in on the register and we're taking um, 0.01 of a millimetre cuts each time and we're getting very close to right the actual size that we need so we just keep progressing on with that so we've actually brought this in um, we st started cutting back on the depth of cut to 0.05 of a millimeter until we just got it and as you can 
see here we've got cut right around as part of the old register as well but there was a bit of right um, out of alignment there with reference to what the old register was but we've still got four four millimeters of new register behind it so we're not too worried about that and if you put on put that onto the right fit now it is a very very uh, firm fit but still can move around just slightly so I think that will do us and the next process is to drill the holes for that and secure it all up all right the situation we have here is that if I try to put the backing plate onto right the chuck to mount it um, what we're having is that we've got a ridge up close in here which is not allowing it to sit down flat and square so what I've done is I've used some little machine blocks um, to offset the right distance away from the edge and what that allows us to do now is to actually place the right backing plate on and then we can tighten up the chuck and everything will sit true and square So we'll just put the backing plate on and then we'll tighten up the chuck. And as you can see here, it's moving in. And just to make sure everything is sitting down properly. Tighten up the chuck again. Just give another tap to make sure. It should be good. So what we have to do now is to center this with reference to right the centre line of the mill. So what we'll do now is we'll put in a, um, a ER40 collet system which is what this takes and we're going to um, get this all sent up and we'll show you how we do that. So what we've done here is we've inserted the ER40 collet system and selected the appropriate collet for right the um, dial indicator holder. Now the dial indicator that we're using um, is measuring from 0 to 1.6 millimetres and in the incrementation on this is um, 0.01 millimetres per division. Alright so what we've done is we've set up the right the dial indicator um, and what we've done is um, gone around and find the highest point um, on the front and back on the x and y axis so we've gone from this position right to that position there, found the highest point, to the back, found the highest point, and then to the opposite side, found the highest point, and then back to our position here, and found the highest point, and they're, out, they're all now reading 10. So we've got that dead centre. So what we'll do now is zero, our DRO and as you can see here we can now work from there and you know set up our bolt hole circle. Alright so now what we've got to do is set up our bolt hole circle pattern. So the first thing we do is we press right the circular button here for our bolt hole pattern that comes up with that, we go enter and that gives us our, our starting positions or, or our centre position this is what we've got here at X and Y so technically they're both set up at the moment just to go through the process if they weren't um, our X we enter 0 put 0 in and go enter and then we do the same for Y and put 0 in there we go enter which basically brings us back to where we were before now we move the down key and we put in the diameter well we already know that the diameter is 84 millimeter we've already entered that in before so again you can go enter and then press the down key again 
the number of holes that you're putting in. So again, three, because it's a three hole pattern for what we're doing. You go enter again, down arrow again, and your starting angle, well, you can put whatever starting angle you like in. We're just starting off at zero. So that's what we'll put in there. We go enter for that, move down again, and then that's your ending angle. Well, if you're putting in three, a three bolt hole pattern starting at zero, your ending angle is going to be 240 degrees. So we put in 240 degrees. We key that in through your right, your numerical buttons there. Go enter, and then go down, and that puts you on hole number one. So if you look at that, we've got to move over right until you get zero on here. And then you just step through that for each of the holes. Hold two, you adjust these both back to zero. Hold three, it's the same thing. You just adjust them both back to zero. Now you can move up and down. So if you want to go back to number two or you want to go back to number one. So if you're doing your drilling process, you'll be putting in your spot drill, then you'll be, be putting in your starter drill and then your final drill and you can just keep moving backwards and forwards and putting it directly over the holes. Alright, so we've got our spot drill holes in. Um, what we've got here is a four, a four mil jobber drill. Um, we're just going to drill through on each of those now and then we'll move up to the next size drill.
So as you can see here, we've got our three holes drilled. Um, they're drilled to 8.5 millimeter. And we'll also put the collet chuck adapter on to the backing plate. And to secure all that on, we're using M8 right, cap head machine bolts or screws, whichever way you want to call them. We'll just put those in. And once we've got those in position, just using the appropriate hex key, tighten those down. And just go around and make sure that the down sufficiently. Alright, so what we've done is um, we've fitted the uh, 32 collet and, and backing plate onto the small lathe um, and we've just been setting the dial indicator up just to have a check out to see what our run out is and adjusting that um, we'll put you back on the dial and we'll just show you what the results are. Alright, the dial indicator setup is as such. Um, we put a bit of pressure um, against the rod. The dial itself is reading 1. And if we rotate the rod, now this is a precision rod. You can see here that we're getting no, no movement at all in the dial. And if we close, close the mechanism down and start the, the lather, that's less than 0.01 of a millimetre.